Let's see how to calculate the volume of a cylinder. The first thing I'll do is state the formula we'll need, and then I'll show you how to use it with an example. On the right hand side of the screen here, I've made a sketch of a cylinder. And to calculate the volume, we'll need two things. First of all, we'll need this cylinder's height, so that's this length here. And for the sake of the formula, we'll usually refer to the height with the letter H. The second and last thing we'll need is the cylinder's radius which is the radius of the disc you can find at the top and at the base of the cylinder. Now, provided we have those two things, so the height of the cylinder and its radius, the volume, which I'll call capital V, is equal to pi times the radius squared, so that's r squared, times the height, so that's h. And I'll go ahead and box that. That's the formula you'll need to calculate the volume of a cylinder. And looking at this formula, it's worth pointing out that pi r squared is in fact the area of the disk, which is at the top and at the base of the cylinder. So I'll just write area of disk. Cylinders are members of the prism family. And just like all prisms, to calculate their volume, all we need is the area of the base. So in this case, that's the area of the disc at the top and at the base of the cylinder, which we then multiply by its height. That being said, let's see how to actually use this formula by working through an example. And I'll just write example here, example. Okay, let's say we're dealing with a cylinder whose radius is three centimeters and whose height is eight centimeters. And in fact, I'll sketch that here. So something looking like this, there we go. Okay, so I said that the radius, which I'll draw here, is three centimeters, three centimeters, and the height, so that's this length here, is eight centimeters. Well, using the formula we've just seen, we can go ahead and state that this cylinder's volume, capital V, is equal to pi times the radius squared. So in this case, that's three centimeters squared, and I just write three squared times the cylinder's height, which in this case is eight centimeters. And I write eight here. All I have to do now is calculate all of this. So let's go ahead. That's equal to pi times three squared. So that's three times three, which is nine times eight. And now taking care of this multiplication, we have nine times eight, which is 72. So that's equal to pi times 72. And now at this stage, if we don't have access to a calculator, we could write our final answer as the volume is equal to 72 pi cubic centimeters, or centimeters cubed. And in fact, I'll go ahead and box that result. There we go. On the other hand, if we do have access to a calculator, then we can use it to calculate 72 times pi. And by all means check, but in doing so and rounding my answer to one decimal place, I find that the volume is equal to 226.2 cubic centimeters. And there we go. We've just calculated this cylinder's volume. 